Katrina Kaif's nutritionist swears by an alkaline diet for a healthy body and a low risk of chronic diseases. Virat Kohli, Hardik Pandya and Malaika Arora are all going crazy over this alkaline water because it claims to flush out all the toxins from your body and claims to keep you more hydrated than normal water. You also see terms like Kangen water and ionized water which are all related to alkaline water and they claim similar benefits over normal water. You guys were pretty insistent in the comments that I cover this. So I caved into this topic and what I discovered was a pile of pseudoscience and an elaborate scam targeting terminally ill vulnerable patients for unbelievable amounts of money. Hi, my name is Pranav, you're watching Science is Dope and in this video, we will uncover the story of a naturopath who claimed he could cure cancer with baking soda and also find out if the alkaline diet and water trend is actually good for the body or if it's a myth and we're gonna be doing that along with a very special guest in the video whom you might already know so stay tuned In 2007, just before her 50th birthday, Kim Ting Kam was diagnosed with stage 3 breast cancer. And the solution the doctors provided was a partial removal of the right breast. Shocked and heartbroken, Kim started looking for other alternatives. She was determined to find her own cure and that's when she found a doctor who said she could reverse her cancer by following his special diet and she believed him. I found, finally found, a doctor that was willing to work for, with me. And in six months time, I am believing that the cancer will be gone. And if it is not, it has shrunk so much that I could have a lumpectomy. A few years later in 2012, a British army captain, Naima Howder Mohammed, was struck with a similar tragedy, but for a second time. Naima had beaten breast cancer once with medical treatment, but unfortunately it returned. And this time it was way more serious and almost beyond all hope. But she refused to believe that this was the end. And so she wrote a letter to a doctor she found on the internet who claimed he could cure any cancer with his unique approach. And after a few emails, Naima was convinced that within a few months she would be back on her feet in perfect health. And the doctor who promised to save the lives of these women was Dr. Robert O. Young, MS, DSC, PhD, medical microbiologist and poster boy of alkaline diets. His best-selling book, The PH Miracle, claims that after years of research, Young discovered something groundbreaking, a diet that can help you reclaim your lost energy get clear skin, bright eyes and a trim body all by following the golden rule of what he called the new biology. According to Young's new biology, the golden law was that acidification of the body is the root cause of all diseases. The title of his book, The pH Miracle, was a reference to this. pH is a number between 0 and 14 that tells you how acidic something is. Take a solution and if its pH is less than 7, it's acidic. If it's 7, it's neutral and if it's more than 7, it's alkaline. According to his theory, all sickness can be prevented by managing an alkaline pH in the body. Flu, diabetes, osteoporosis, cancer and even AIDS can be treated naturally the pH miracle way. Young believed that the human body is designed to be alkaline. But everything we do, eating, breathing and even thinking were actions that turn the body acidic. And what happens if we don't deal with this acid problem? For women, it goes into the breast, which causes, you know, microcalcifications and breast cancer. If it goes into the brain, then it can cause brain cancer. If it goes into the prostate, it can break down the prostate. But not to worry, Young didn't want to leave people hanging and so he presented the perfect solution to this problem. Balancing out the harmful acid by eating food that is alkaline and also drinking water with a few drops of hydrogen peroxide which made it alkaline. This, according to him, increased the biological activity in that water. Young put forward this idea of alive water. As if feelings and memory were not enough, water is now alive. If you didn't get that reference, check out this video I made. But why was he recommending such a diet? On what basis? In 1994, after decades of research, Young says that he discovered something astonishing. He saw that when blood becomes acidic, it starts to behave in a strange way. Blood cells slowly transform into harmful bacteria and viruses which give rise to disease. Looking at the live blood, you will see a rod bacterial form, much like an anthraxis bacillus, 
going through a pleomorphic change or a biological transformation. This was the revolutionary idea on which he built his alkaline diet empire. But this idea of one type of cell transforming into another is not a Robert Young original. This idea existed hundreds of years ago and it was known as pleomorphism first theorized in the 1800s. But as evidence for germ theory was established, pleomorphism was abandoned by everyone except Robert O. Young, apparently. Young had been writing books on alternative medicine since 1988. But everything changed for him after he wrote The PH Miracle in 2004, a book covering health tips, weight loss tips in an era when toxic diet culture was all the rage. His book met instant fame and sold millions of copies in the US. Riding this wave of fame, Young started organizing PH Miracle retreats, charging anything from $1,300 to $2,500 per night and making television appearances for alkaline weight loss regimes. Our body is only as healthy as the water it's bathed in uh -huh. and, and the it's acid that makes us fat. He planned something big and potentially risky. He soon started treating patients not through books but through his revolutionary healing program at a 48-acre ranch in rural San Diego. And some of these patients were terminally ill like Naima. What's so risky about this whole operation? We'll get to that but first we have to understand what happens to the body when we eat alkaline diets. And to explain that we have with us Krish Ashok, author of Masala Lab. Before we try and unpack what happens to our bodies on alkaline diets, let's take a step back and head to Bollywood. I'm sure all of you have seen these gory scenes from Bollywood films where the villain or a pathological boyfriend uses this liquid that melts your flesh. It's called an acid. In chemistry, stuff is either acidic, neutral or alkaline. It's a spectrum from will melt your face to surprisingly enough will melt your face. Strongly acidic and strongly alkaline substances are both corrosive in entirely different ways. But in the context of food, we need to get away from extremes. Like Pranav said, acidity or alkalinity are measured using the pH scale from 0 to 14. 0 to 7 is acidic, 7 to 14 is alkaline and 7 is neutral. Most of the food we eat is usually slightly acidic. Fruits are acidic, most vegetables are acidic. In fact, our tongues detect this and go, this is sour. More acidic equals more sour. So when we get a baby to bite into a piece of lemon, the way its face puckers as made popular by countless YouTube videos, is the sourness taste buds over firing and the brain going, oh my God. Some foods like eggs are slightly alkaline, not much, because it turns out that our tongues absolutely detest anything too alkaline. We love vinegar and lime juice, pH 2 to 3, and cannot tolerate anything more than a tiny bit of baking soda, which is pH 8 to 9. This is why strongly alkaline things taste soapy, metallic, and bitter. But whether food is acidic or alkaline doesn't really matter. Because once food gets into your stomach, our digestive system generates super strong, face-melting strength hydrochloric acid for a couple of reasons to kill anything living like bacteria or viruses and to break down large proteins in a process called denaturing. And once that's done, the pancreas does something magical. It generates alkaline bicarbonates like in baking soda to neutralize all this really strong acid because we don't want it to melt our intestines. And finally, in the small intestine, all nutrients in food are absorbed into the bloodstream. But unlike the digestive tract where pH can vary based on what you eat, what you drink, etc. The pH of your blood is super tightly regulated within a very narrow range between 7.35 and 7.45, just slightly alkaline if you notice, in order to maintain the proper functioning of the body cells and organs. This is done in three ways. Number one, respiratory control, also known as breathing. Carbon dioxide in water or blood is acidic. So when blood becomes acidic, your body will increase your rate of breathing to remove that carbon dioxide. When blood becomes too alkaline, your breathing rate goes down to allow for more CO2 to remain in the blood. Number two, buffer systems. These are molecules that blood keeps around to neutralize acids or bases when things go out of balance. These include proteins, phosphates and bicarbonates. 
like in baking soda. Number three, renal control, also known as your kidneys. The kidneys also are responsible for removing excess acid or alkalis from your blood via urination. As is evident, this is a delicate and highly orchestrated dance of multiple bodily processes to essentially keep you alive. What you eat at best can affect the pH of your digestive tract and to some extent your urine. It cannot directly affect the most critical and relevant pH in your body, blood. If food could do that, we'd all be dead every time we literally ate anything. Thank you, Ashok. Now we understand that alkaline diets and water are basically bullshit. But since the body can't regulate its own pH, how does it matter? And more importantly, how is it dangerous? The answer to that lies in the rest of the story. Things Robert Young did didn't cause problems till he started recommending his diet only as a lifestyle choice. But things took a sharp turn when he started giving serious medical advice. Maybe a diet that's that's higher in carbohydrates or proteins. We need to get more greens and more alkalinity in the, into the diet. And recommending the pH miracle way as a treatment for serious diseases like cancer and liver failures. Now you might think what's so wrong about Dr. Young treating people? I mean, he does have a lot of qualifications, I can make an entire video about everything wrong with this person. I'm just gonna highlight a few for starters. He's not a doctor. His PhD and his entire bucket of qualifications are meaningless because he bought them. They were fake. His last legitimate degree seems to have been from his high school. And one of Young's famous talking points is that acidic blood can give rise to cancer. This statement is a classic example of making correlation look like causation. What researchers have found is that cancer or tumor cells are acidic in nature, which arises from a lack of blood supply to these cells. But I couldn't find a single credible source that said acidic blood or acidic food can give rise to cancer. And finally, we come to his ridiculous and risky Miracle Ranch treatment program. Do you know what his revolutionary treatment is? He used drum roll baking soda. Yes, the white powder that we use to make cakes fluffy. This guy was giving intravenous injections of baking soda to his patients to make their blood alkaline and cure people of their illnesses, which is straight up problematic. You can imagine what happened to the patients being treated this way. Young was successful in running his PH Miracle Ranch and charging people something like $3,000 per day. That's like 2.5 lakhs or 250,000 in Indian currency per day of an 8 to 12 week treatment program. His empire, however, was struck down in 2014 when US Marshals arrested him from his ranch. He was charged with multiple felonies, including treating sick people without a medical license and physically abusing patients and stealing from the sick and elderly. A jury ordered Young to pay and compensate $105 million to Don Kelly, who was convinced to stop her chemotherapy for her cancer and go for his alkaline treatments after he introduced himself as a doctor and promised to cure her. Kelly is yet to receive her compensation, but she feels vindicated to uh, speak out against Young and stop him from ruining other people's lives with his lies. But unfortunately, some people could not get justice for themselves. Kim Tinkham was interviewed by Young and she talked about how she went from having cancer to not having cancer in nine months following his uh, alkaline diet plan. He even posted this on his website. But unfortunately, Kim succumbed to a disease and passed away in 2010. Naima, who was hopeful about Young's potential to uh, treat her cancer and cure her, uh, got her family to pay $77,000 or 62 lakhs in Indian rupees for his ranch treatments. But things just got worse for her and soon after she started her treatment, she lost her life at the age of 27. Even after being jailed for three years, he started selling chlorophyll juice as a treatment against COVID-19. But this time he got immediately flagged down by the authorities for making baseless claims. 
This shows that people like Young have no remorse for preying on terminally ill people. Fortunately, the jail sentence uh, stopped him from illegally treating people and pumping them with hope. Some people might still have a doubt, hey, just because the pH miracle diet was a scam doesn't mean alkaline water and Kangen water is a scam. You're absolutely right, they have their own reasons for being utter nonsense. My comment section was the first time I came across this term Kangen water but apparently it's quite a big deal. The word Kangen comes from the Japanese phrase return to life because it supposedly gives you a new and healthy life and makes you live for longer. So what exactly does this purifier that's worth something like 2 lakh rupees? Do? According to them, it's a device that ionizes water and uses electrolysis to separate the acidic and alkaline components of tap water. First, you ask anyone with a degree in chemistry and he or she will tell you that this term ionized water makes no sense. Electrolysis involves passing a current through water to separate the negative and positive ions in water. And pure water does not even conduct enough electricity for it to undergo significant electrolysis. Tap water, however, does have impurities and can conduct electricity, but electrolysis does not magically turn the water acidic or alkaline. Water must contain metallic ions to be alkaline. And most tap water we get in our homes already has these metallic impurities especially if it's hard water which means it's already alkaline so what's the machine doing and even if the water were alkaline it doesn't do anything to your blood ph level as we've covered already i found this really useful website that nicely debunks these water related scams and goes really in depth if you're interested the link is down below kangen water purifiers and other such electrolysis devices are worthless when it comes to treating your water please don't waste your money in this expensive scam the celebrities or influencers uh, endorsing alkaline water brands or sharing their alkaline diets on social media they're not doctors or nutritionists. Please don't take their advice on what food you should and should not eat. Our bodies and their nutritional needs are so different. We all know that almonds are good for you because they're rich in protein and good fats. But this same almond could prove deadly to someone with a severe nut allergy. These blanket claims like this diet will cure all your chronic diseases or you can live a longer life just by drinking our special water might all sound very irresistible but you should examine the scientific evidence they have backing their claims which is almost always none as we like to say on this channel extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence content like this is expensive to make so if you do like it i'd appreciate if you support me on patreon buy me a coffee youtube memberships or that thanks button if you like this video, you might like this one I did on scammers that claim that water remembers stuff. Thanks again, Ashok from Masala Lab, who helped me out with this video. Don't forget to check him out. Check out his pages. Links down below. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, remember, science is dope.